If you're encoding overloaded, consider turning down video settings or using a faster encoding preset. How about no? Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we have Gunslinger Farmhouse Suicidal. And I'm stretching. This was the best chance. Oh god, no. Don't spawn me here. Um. Hi! How's it going? I'm out of sorts. Bonka! Wow, I'm way out of sorts. <laughs> you guys ever, um, try to drink water and then just miss? So it happens to me fairly regularly. It's a, it's a, not, not a super regular occurrence, but it's, uh, it, it's something that I think happens often enough that I can call it regular, but not often enough that I think I would call it, uh, Expected thing when I'm drinking, you know what I mean? Kind of, kind of right in that uh, sweet spot there. Um, last night I was drinking some some water. I was laying in bed. Typically, when I'm drinking water in bed, I will sit up fully. Um, it's just, like it's just better to drink when you're sitting up. You shouldn't really be drinking when you're lying down. Um, and uh, it's also easier to do anyway. Um, but last night, for some reason, I, I decided to, to drink it while I was kind of like in in the like I, I kind of like set up halfway instead of all the way, and then I drank there, and that was a mistake. Cause uh, like half the like how much water? Probably about like half a liter of water just like dumped out <laughs> all over me and my bed. So I was like soaking wet last night. This cat's back in the game. I soaked it up mostly with like blankets and a towel and stuff. Time's up. Uh, and and like I, I have paper towel and stuff in my room as well, which I use for um spills mostly. <laughs> like I said, it's a regular occurrence. Um, and uh, well, I also use it to, to clean my screen on occasion. Um, but yeah, the, the paper towels are mostly there for, for spills, honestly. Um, and, uh, I had, uh, just been, like, soaking wet, so I was complaining about it in the Discord, in the Raymeter Discord last night. And one of the people was like, how the heck did you miss while you were drinking? How is that possible? And it made me re it made me realize that uh, this is perhaps not a normal occurrence for everybody. That there are perhaps some people in the world who have never missed while trying to, to drink uh, any kind of liquid out of a out of a container. There are people out there who uh, have a 100% success rate drinking out of a, out of a cup or a bottle or something. And then other people were like, "Well, it depends on the container, you know. If it's uh, some containers are, are just more." Spillable? I'm like, nah. <laughs> uh, unless it requires me to, like, suck it through a straw. I, I'm, and even then, if it's possible, I may still spill. Um, actually, no, you know what? I, I take it back. I have definitely spilled from sucking. Like, the, the straw just, like, ends up not fully in my mouth, and I just, like, suck water onto my shoulder or something. I'm, I'm just, I'm bad at, like, hand-eye coordination and all that. Just really, really bad at it. Um, I do have autism, which which can have an effect on um, fine motor skills like that. Um, typically, you'd expect all of them to be <laughs> fixed by the point that I'm at in my life. But what other explanation do I have? Um, what other excuse do I get? I use I use what I have, okay? Um, so, uh, yeah, they were, they were like, you know, hey, and we were, we were talking about, like, squirt bottles, you know? And, uh, where, where you get to, like, squeeze it and, and squirt the water out. A number of times I've, I've tried to, like, drink out of one of those and just squirted water directly into my eye is just far too high. And you think, hey, you just, like, put it in your mouth and then squeeze it. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I know. I know. I know how it works. Just sometimes in the moment, my hands don't really do what I want them to do. But I think they do. 
They just didn't, and then I squeeze and squirts into the eyes or pours water down my shirt or whatever. It's a, it's a, it's a frequent occurrence. Not as super frequent, like I said, but it's it's often. Um, and it made me think, you know, because there's gonna be a day in my life where I get married, right? I'm gonna eventually, you know, be a, be a wife to a loving husband. And that'll be that's in my future. I don't know how far away. It might be you know 60 years from now. Okay, God, I hope not. Uh, I mean, I hope I am married at that point, but I hope it's not <laughs> the wedding day. I hope it's sooner than that. But you know, it'll happen eventually. Uh, marriage, right? It's in the plans. It's in the cards. And I was thinking, you know, we'll probably sleep in the same bed, at least on occasion. Yeah, you know, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be sleeping in the same bed as them every night because I think that I move around a lot, and I think that uh, it would just be better for us if if we were largely separated in the beds, just because like it would probably be better. I, I take up a lot of space in the bed. I sprawl out. I I'm not really good to sleep with, but sometimes you know you, you end up sleeping in the same bed anyway, just because it's you know, you're already in the same bed, you know, and then you just kind of fall asleep or whatever. And, uh, anyway, <laughs> um, I was thinking, you know, there's going to come a time in my life, and then this, this isn't even a what if, right? This is, this will happen one day in the future. I'll be lying in bed with my loving partner, and I'll be like, man, I'm thirsty, <laughs> and I just, then, you know, he'll be asleep. He'll be sound asleep, right? But I'll, I'll, I'll be, like, tossing and turning or whatever for a little bit, and I'll be thirsty, I'll grab my, my water bottle. <laughs> and I'll try to drink out of it and and just spill <laughs> like a liter of water all over my sleeping you know husband's face <laughs> waking him up like what a just a terrible way to wake up I'm sorry honey yeah no I uh, was thirsty and the water ended up on on you instead of in my mouth um, sorry can you help me clean this up and it's good oh, it's gonna be so funny uh, people say I'm too clumsy. That's that's a, that's a remark I get often. But I don't think I am. You know, I think I I, I have no doubts that I'm clumsy. I'm a very clumsy individual. There's there's no uh, there's no mistaking that. But uh, I don't think there's too clumsy on anything. You know, one day I'll find somebody, and they'll think that my clumsiness is uh, is cute. You know, I can't help it. Okay, I. If you think I'm I'm like liking dumping water on myself? Nah. It, it's just this is just who I am. If you can't handle me at my worst, you don't deserve me at my best. Okay? I'm kidding. I mean, I'm not, but like, I'm not unironically <laughs> saying that. Um, it's kind of a stupid quote, and taken out of context, I believe. Um, but uh, yeah, no, it'll. Uh, It'll, it'll happen eventually. And somebody's gonna, you know, find my clumsiness adorable. They'll like it. They'll love me for it. And I mean, that's what, you know, kind of boils down to at the end of the day, right? So that's that's kind of what love is. So they don't mind that you're an idiot. <laughs> they love it, in fact. And then I'll spill water on them. It'll be like a, a great harmonious relationship. The pinnacle of uh, of envy amongst uh, women everywhere. It's gonna happen one day. I'll get that. I don't know when. I'm not. I'm not like actively searching for a relationship anyway. It's not like a major part of my life. I, I got I got other things I want to work on first. Um. But I don't know. Five years from now, I, I'd like to be in a relationship. What's a serious one? You know. Well, that's five years from now, you know? Like I said, other things to work on first. But I was thinking about it, right? Because it's going to happen. It'll be after a nice, loving, passionate night. <laughs> he falls asleep. I just can't because I'm just restless. Um, and, then, and then I just spill water all over him. It's going to happen. I know it is. It happens like on camera on occasion. I talk about it all the time. Money, anyone? Where I like splash water onto myself. You'd think I'd learn, right? I just I don't. I don't think I'm capable of learning that. I think it's a. I think it's a uh, 
a, a skill that that I just I don't get. You know, when when you're born, you get you get to pick a list of skills. I picked none of the above. Terrible choice. Terrible choice. Should have picked hand-eye coordination. But I picked none of the above. And as a result, I get to be a uh, jack and nun, master of none. That's who I am. That's, that's my name. Jane. What's that, what's that TV show? It's like uh, Jane the Virgin. My sister used to watch that. It was, it was about some lady who got pregnant or whatever, and there was some commentator who would, like, talk about everything her life did, except she was aware that it was happening, and there'd be, like, this kind of back and forth between Jane and, um, the commentator. It was, like, yeah, it was, it was, honestly, it was, it was a mildly amusing show. I mean, not, not something that I would personally watch, but, uh, whenever I went upstairs, my sister was watching it. It wasn't the worst kind of content to have in the background. She's watched worse, for sure. She's watched worse. Now that's cool. At least in my opinion. In my opinion, anyway. I've watched worse for, for, for her opinion, too, for sure. Everybody has different tastes. But that was one that I uh, that, that I liked to... Uh, not liked, necessarily. But one that I didn't necessarily avoid, either. Honestly, her tastes are kind of uh, pretty similar to mine. We differ on, like, a few things to, like, extremes. But a lot of the time, we end up... Uh, both liking something like I'll watch a TV show in the in the living room. She'll be like, "Hey, I'm watching this now too," <laughs> or uh, or she'll be watching something. I'll be like, "Oh yeah, no, I'm watching this one now too," um, because it's just you know you see the other person watching and you're like, "Hey, that looks good. I'm gonna watch it," and then uh, we end up like watching it together a lot of the time or or separately, but then talking about it. Happens all the time, or used to anyway. Back in the day, a year ago maybe. It's the last time we kind of did that. I remember one day my uh, my parents had some friends over, and they stayed over till like 3 a.m. or something like that. Both my sister and I were living upstairs at the time, um, and my parents and their friends also upstairs. Uh, and we didn't really want to be a part of it <laughs> because we didn't really. We don't. Neither, neither of us are. are at least back then, she's she's a lot more outgoing now, but but still, very similarly, uh, you know, you just, you just don't really want to be involved in that, right? Um, especially as kids, like this was quite a few years ago. Um, so we ended up. They came over at like six o'clock or whatever. And we went downstairs <laughs> immediately. Uh, we started watching Community, and I think we binged almost all of Community. It was like till episode like four of the fourth season or third season or something like that that we just binged <laughs> in one night because my parents had their friends over and they were playing some some like poker game or whatever I still remember that I haven't finished I, I, I watched uh, Community's a really good show it's a really funny show I really like it um, but they had like a fifth season come out I remember my sister and I were like waiting for it anticipating it forever I still haven't watched it I remember like it, it took like uh, it took a long time after after we finished watching uh, season four, for us to uh, to finally actually be able to watch season five, and um, I still haven't. We, we were like uh, for so long, just like it's coming out, it's coming out, it's coming out. We're gonna be able to watch it. Like we were so excited. I don't. Know, I think she's watched it, but I never actually got around to it. I don't know why. I just I kind of like lost the interest in it. I guess. I should get back to watching it though. It's a fun show. I really liked Community. It was um, it was just really funny. Um, yeah. But, but what else can you say? You know, who's out here arguing that Community's not a funny show, right? Probably a lot of people. I think I think a lot of people don't really like Community. It's kind of it's kind of a like true of everything though, right? No matter what you pick, there's always going to be people out there who are like, ah, I don't really like it. Doesn't matter what you pick. It's always, it's always somebody who doesn't like it. And it's not like their um, opinion is wrong, necessarily. I think if you don't like community, then that's a valid opinion. But, um, you know, we, we agree to disagree. The agreeance is that you're wrong, and the disagree is that you think you're right. 
Something like that, right? That's how agreeing to disagree works? It, it works something like that. I used to be a very argumentative person, like four years ago, maybe even like two years ago. I've changed a lot. It's kind of, uh... It's fun looking back on who you used to be. Even if you don't like yourself. Like, it's fun to see how far you've come, you know? Or if you didn't like yourself. I like myself now. I don't like who I was, like, two years ago, even. Um, but I'm, I'm pretty content with who I am now. I've come into my own, as it were. And uh, I used to be a much more argumentative, much more spiteful person. These days, I think I'm, I'm pretty reasonable, more realistic about uh, kind of what I'm in getting into and, and uh, accepting of these things. I'm, I'm more accepting of myself, especially. But uh, I'm, I'm much more... I'm, I'm much less prone to getting upset at somebody for having an opinion, whereas before, I definitely would. So it's... Uh, it's always fun looking at how far I've come because I know I know that uh, my friends appreciate it. They might not recognize it, um, but I know that they appreciate it. You know, because it's like when you're when you're close with somebody, you don't notice small changes like that, right? Because I think it's a big change if you look at who I was two years ago and who I am today. But if you look at sort of the over time, you know how have they changed? It's very small changes, just kind of gradually adding up, right? Um, but I've come a long way, and I I, uh, I like to recognize that. I got a lot of ways to go. I got a lot of improvement to do, personally. But um, it's fun to to kind of reflect on how far you've come in in your journey of, of personal growth. Makes you realize the things that uh, that you've accomplished, and it also makes you realize the things that you've kind of regressed in, right? Because not not everything's always getting better. Some things are getting worse. I think, I think, generally speaking, I'm, I'm a much better person today than I was two years ago. I was, uh, like I said, much more spiteful, much more antagonistic kind of individual back then. Um, much less empathetic. Uh, whereas today, I still have, you know, progress to be made on, on all of those fronts, but much better. And then, you know, on other aspects, I think that um, I'm worse. I think I'm a lot more... Annoying. Um, I, like I've said, I kind of accepted myself, and I think that that annoys some people, uh, for sure. But then at the same time, like, yeah, whatever. Be annoyed. It's just who I am. It's okay. And I think that that's also progress, but I don't know. I don't really like the, the things that I don't like about myself. I don't really want to talk about right now is the moral of the story. It's not that I don't know what they are. It's just that I don't really want to talk about them. Um, hey. So I've got, I've got work to do on some things, but it's, it's good to reflect, right? You get to see what you like and what you don't like about yourself. What you've changed that was beneficial and what you changed that wasn't. Even if you're not trying to change, over two years, you're going to change a lot. And you can kind of you can kind of recognize what of those changes were good and what of those changes were bad and, and realize that, hey, I should probably like work on this. Or I should really like keep up with, with this thing that I've just kind of been naturally doing over the past few years. Just kind of happened upon... To, to be a nicer person or whatever, I should really, like, be proud of that. Be happy that, uh, that I've grown like that. Even if you're not trying, it's happening. We're always growing as people, right? There's never any, uh, any point in your life where you're completely stagnated, right? Maybe, like, later on when you're in your, like, 80s or whatever. But even then, I think, I think there's mild growth over time like when you're 80 and when you're like 105 I think I think you're a different person I think you've grown and and experienced more maybe not as much as like I'll experience or not like as much relative to the whole of your life as I will experience over those 19 years because I just have a you know 19 years from now I'll be 44 that's like you know almost half of my life not quite but like 41% or something like that um that's you know, significant. For somebody who's 105, it'll be like, you know, 20% of their life. Much less significant. Although still significant. I think that uh, there's no way you wouldn't develop as a, as a human being in that time. Though at the same time, like, most of your, your growth, most of your sort of self-reflections happen in the, uh, in the wee years of your life too, right? Nobody's really growing as much as they ever were when they were, like, one years old. That's where the foundations of who you are kind of get uh, 
built up, right? Sort of thing. Not necessarily a one, but like, you know, those those early years. Right? Like one to like twenty four or whatever. A year before where I am. That was specifically made because I'm mature. But you know, it's uh you grow. And if you look back on, on, on what you've kinda done you might feel good, you might feel bad about it. And if you feel bad about it, I think that's a good thing. Because it, it shows that you have uh, room to improve and, and you're recognizing that. For me, I feel good about most of the things. But bad about some other things. And again, it's good, right? Anyway, that's going to do it for today. So thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like. It's subscribe to more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. I'll see you next time. Bye. Two dash off.